Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at Triple C from Christian Engblom. All right, so what is Triple C? Triple C is a gaff deck entirely. It is a completely gaff deck, every single card. So on par with other famous gaff decks, absolutely. Um, and really, I'll, I'll, you know, I should, just, I should just let you watch Christian Engblom perform one of his tricks. This is one of the tricks from the video. Here you go. My good friend Christian has always very nice, interesting, and clever ideas. This one is very practical, believe me. Timur, I'm sorry. Yes. So, uh, would you please remove a card? Any card you want. Don't, yeah, yeah, you look, I mean, show it to, to the camera. Don't show us. We don't want to see. We don't want to see. It's okay? And then please put your card back inside wherever you want. And then take the deck and shuffle the deck. Shuffle the deck. Shuffle, shuffle. It's good. Oh, she's a professional. I would not play poker with her. Oh, jeez. Oh, we're in trouble. Anyway, I'm glad I don't have to find the card. Okay. You know why I don't have to find it? No. Sometimes I get lucky and it's on top. No. Or on the bottom. No. It's not on the bottom. No. Okay, then you have to find it. If it's not the bottom card, is there another card you think it might be? If it's not the bottom card or the top card, what card could it be? Be space. Really? Yes. <laughs> the three of spades? Oh, yeah. How does he know? Oh, I don't see. He is okay. a magician. <laughs> Incredible. For me too. Here, touch another one. Touch another okay. one. Just touch. Which one? This one. I show it to you and I show it to the camera, but I, yeah. I don't show him. Okay. Because, well, he's a, like a magician. It's in the middle, right? You can see it somewhere in the yeah. middle. Yes. Yeah. It's not the bottom one. It's not the bottom one. So it's not the three of spades. What is her card? It's nine. What is this? Diamond. 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 How do you know? I don't know how he knows, but he knows. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. He's my master. All right, so that was Christian Engblom. Uh, if you don't know who he is, uh, you saw that little brief like intro from Juan Tamari. Uh, he is actually Juan Tamari's student, one of his disciples. And if Juan gives this effect a rave review, then I think we should too, right? I mean, who are we to argue with Juan Tamari? Uh, all right, so you get this, you order it. What's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, it's really small little um, cardboard box from Expert Playing Card Company. They designed the deck shell. And then inside that, there's actually a sealed Okay, sealed and shrink wrapped uh, gaff deck from United States Playing Card Company. You can get it in red or blue. And that's, that's unique. You don't often get a sealed deck, a sealed gaff deck, which means you could do brand new deck effects. You could open this up in front of a spectator as if it were a brand new deck and begin a whole routine. Uh, and I think that brings something to the table right there. Other than that, you will get a download code. Download code will uh, send you to a link. It'll give you 10 downloadable videos, 10 downloadable videos about an hour of content. Is it what I thought? Uh, no, it's not what I thought. And here's why. I think because a lot of people were alluding to the fact that it was just an over glorified stripper deck, but then the ad copy says, it is not a stripper deck. So you're like, well, who do I believe? Do I believe the people who are judging it from the outside who don't own it? Do I, you know, do I, who do I, who do I believe? Who do I listen to? And so I think the jury was out until I received it in the mail and uh, it was a really nice surprise. How are the angles and can it be inspected? Um, I think the angles are the same. Uh, let's not compare it to a stripper deck. Okay, let's not uh, compare it to a tapered deck, but I would say the angles are the same as that. You know how on a stripper deck, you can hand it out. It's inspectable. No one's gonna find anything because they don't know what to look for. Um, and the cards all look the same. And you could use this deck for other tricks. I think the same thing would apply to the triple C deck. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, like I said, it's 10 videos in total and each one is separate, okay? You download 10 separate videos uh, and it makes an hour of content altogether. Um, you're gonna get a whole video that's strictly 
performances, okay, strictly performances, and they're all tied together. Uh, Christian's in like a restaurant or some sort of cafe, and it's kind of loud. There's a lot of ambient noise. Um, he's bringing over people as spectators, and it's shot kind of at, from an overview angle looking down, okay? And like I said, all the tricks run together. There's no microphone. Uh, so you just have to listen carefully, okay? Listen carefully, pay attention. The sound is really echoey. And I, I would say the sound's really echoey through this entire thing. Uh, there was no microphone ever used. And the explanation part is all black background, black table, one steady shot that never changes. Also not microphone, so it, again, it's a little echoey. The whole video has some echo issues. You're gonna get a video on its history, the history of the deck. Obviously, Christian did not invent this deck, it's, it's borrowed technology that he's reintroducing. Um, and then you're gonna get some uh, cleanup videos, like how-tos, some tips, performances, some last minute ideas, of course. And then you're also gonna get some tricks. What are the tricks you're gonna get? You're gonna get a trick called name spell, which is kind of like how it would sound, like a spectator selects a card, it's returned to you, and then you ask them their name, and you spell down their name, and at the end of the their name, there's their card. There's a trick on there called poker deal. Uh, you deal four of a kind, they're placed uh, back in the deck in various places. You then ask the spectator how many different poker hands they would like you to deal, and you deal that many, and you even ask them which one of those hands is to receive the four of a kind, and then you do it. There's another trick on there called He Knows, where the spectator chooses a card and it gets shuffled back into the deck. Um, the magician then shows, you know, it's not on top, it's not on bottom, and you hold the deck so the bottom card is actually seen, and uh, he turns around to somebody else and shows them the bottom card and asks them to concentrate on that card, and then when they do so, uh, it is the other card that was chosen. <laughs> is it well made? Yes, it's absolutely well made. Like I said earlier, it's bicycle stock. It is a standard bicycle deck, red or blue. You pick right or back, 808s, uh, everything you'd love from United States Playing Card Company. All right, so here's the big question. How much practice does this require? Because I've seen lots of people asking for this review and probably because the commercial makes this deck out to be the end all end all. And you're thinking, this is the deck that's gonna answer all my prayers. It's gonna make me look like a poker genius. I'm gonna look like a card handling genius. I want this deck. Let me just say, not only am I delving now into my opinion, but I have read other people's reviews too, okay? I have gone out and listened to other people and what they have thought as well, because I think it's good to get a lot of input. Um, here's the thing, Christian, the designer, right? He suggests, that it takes at least two hours of practice to get down. Okay, two hours of practice just to figure out. That's you holding the cards in your hand, working at it two hours long, okay? Which means if you are on the lower end of the totem pole, like let's say you're not as awesome at cards as Juan Tamari and Christian Engblom, which would be like all of us, right? It's very possible it could take you a lot longer. I have heard from some people who has taken them days to get down, okay? I've heard from other people that they never got it, that it's that difficult. Some people are saying, oh, why is, it, why, why is it difficult for you? I got it right away. And other people are saying, I don't know, I just can't get it, okay? I'm putting that out there. There's both sides of the coin, both sides of the table, okay? Um, and a lot of the people that I've heard can't get it are left-handers. I don't know why, I've even seen some other reviewers who've said they, they're left-handed and they couldn't figure it out. Uh, it, that's out there, okay? I'm just trying to be honest with you, trying to put all the cards on the table. This is gonna take a lot of practice, a lot of time commitment. Don't expect to pick this up and just pretend it's the new improved stripper deck because it's not, okay? There's, there's work to do and you have to be in it to win it. You're gonna shell out the 30 bucks, so like I'm saying, you know, is it worth your money? It's $30, it's $30 for a deck of cards, which is not on par for what a, a gaff deck costs. So a gaff deck is about $30, plus you're getting an hour's worth of material, that's good, that's all good, so I think it definitely is worth your money. Is it worth your time, okay? Think about that, is this a project that you're gonna put the time into, okay? So just ask yourself, I think, that important question. All right, so positives, positives. What are the positives to Triple C from Christian Engblom? Uh, Christian Engblom's deck is one of a kind, and it's sure to create master level miracles in your hands. Once you pick it up, you may never put it down. Negatives, you know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. So these are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. I just want to reiterate, 
It's a gimmick deck and the commercial makes it look like it's the answer to all your prayers, but that is not without cost, okay? This is not for beginners or people who are just a little bit proficient at card magic. You gotta be willing to put in the practice. Who would like this? I think advanced level magicians, right-handed card mechanics, <laughs> um, people who are looking for a new and improved uh, gaff deck that they can do poker tricks and uh, card manipulation type effects with. Uh, fans of Juan Tamarie, fans of Christian Engblom, I think are definitely gonna get a big kick out of this deck. All right, so that is Triple C from Christian Engblom. I wanna thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, bye.